Hey, so is this your first time to Bulletproof Comics? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think of the store? It's pretty cool. It's a comic book store, skate shop, and it sells video games. My name is Han Kwan. Uh, this is Bulletproof Comics. Uh, we've been at the same location for 24 years in the junction. The whole area kind of changed. Uh, it's a lot, lot nicer now. It's actually a very fun place to work. Um, you know, we deal with comics, we deal with bunch of other things like game skateboards, mostly like hobby stuff. We carry everything from, uh, of course, comic books, video games, toys, skateboards, uh, we do a lot of exclusive comics. You want to have different sections. There's a lot of different publishers. There's a lot of different titles. Um, what we usually do is we have it organized by pub certain sections by a publisher. So we'll have independent, Marvel, DC, and then we have it alphabetized. There's a lot of books out there. There's a lot of uh, different fan bases for different books. So we try to keep it as organized as possible. When we started uh, 24 years ago, the only thing we carried were comic books, and sports cards, and uh, VHS anime. So those three things put us on the map for like several years. But uh, when, when things changed, when the, the comic book industry imploded, we brought in video games. Now that video games have slowed down, we brought in skateboards, we brought in uh, trading card games, CCG, like Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Vanguard. It's, it's, a, it's actually a very fun place to work. Um, you know, we deal with comics, we deal with a bunch of other things like game skateboards, mostly like hobby stuff. And now, uh, about a year ago, we, we started again with the exclusive comic books that uh, you know, we ship out all over the world. We commissioned a artist in Italy, his name is Gabriel Delato, he's world famous. We get permission from DC and Marvel to print special number one comics with our logo. And we're the only one authorized to sell it. We put that on our website and in store and people uh, love it so much they order it all over the world. And constantly we're shipping it out. So the store is in a constant state of flux and clutter because we have so many business coming in and out. Yeah, if we wanted, if I wanted to get the variants and I couldn't get to the store, where else could I go? Uh, you could also order it from our website. Most of our comics, uh, comic customers do. Uh, www.bulletproofcomics.com. Spell it with an X, and you're gonna see uh, different items every week. Do you ever find you have to play uh, sort of like bartender, hear people's gripes about the comics at any time? Sure. <laughs> yeah, every day. I'm pretty open as far as listening to what people have to say about stories. Sometimes I'll get a different point of view. Even movies too, comic movies, yeah, I'll, I'll hear about it. Like Batman vs Superman, I heard it wasn't the best thing. I mean, I try not to make my opinion affect theirs, so I'll listen to what they have to say and then I'll make some valid points. But it's it's definitely something, yeah, I go through stuff, definitely. I said it before, it gives me the greatest joy when I see the you know little kids that I've been you know, taking care of. They grow up and they come in, they're all grown up, they have their own family, they bring in their wives and uh, kids, then they introduce kids to them, you know? And to this day, I get a little teary-eyed whenever I see that, and uh, that's, that's my greatest joy. There's a lot of different personalities that come in. Um, I could say it definitely helped me personally grow as a, like, it helped me grow as a person, sorry. And um, it gave me a lot of experience as far as like, dealing with different people and understanding you know, certain things, so I'll, I'll say as much, yeah. The future of comics is, I mean, we definitely had our heyday 10 years ago. They have to control the price of comics. Uh, you know, DC got the right idea with the Rebirth 299. Oh, it's, it's genius. The recent Rebirth titles is definitely attracting a lot of new uh, comic readers. Some people, you know, they don't accept it at first, and then when the titles come out, that's when they'll pick up their favorite hero and then they'll see it ties in with other things as well. So with the all new old different titles, it's also not a bad idea. It definitely attracted new people because just starting from even the first issue, people, you know, uh, if you're a new comic book reader, you'll come in and you'll see it and you'll say, oh, well, you know what? I want to read Amazing Spider-Man. It's a number one. I give it a shot. So I think it's, I think it's a really good uh, marketing idea too. If you pay them all this money, somebody's got to pay it. And it feels like the, the cost is being passed down to the few comic collectives that are supporting the books. And also
also the, uh, the, the second thing is the digital age is uh, hurting the comics because now you could, you could download the comic books right on the iPad and read it. The only downside is that they don't get to come into a comic shop like us and geek out or you know just talk about comics and uh, you know, have that unique experience. By DC lowering the comics to $2.99, uh, it definitely benefits the younger, younger uh, kids that have limited income. So they, if they get $20 allowance, $30 allowance, now they can actually afford three, four books a week. So now, now that DC has lowered the price, um, I see a lot of the young kids come back. So maybe before it was maybe 5% of my customer base was young kids, now it's probably like 15%. So you gotta put it out. Hank Juan, proprietor of Bulletproof Comics, uh, we're at the Flatbush. We're at the Flatbush store, but there's another one. Can you tell everyone where that one is? Oh, the second store is uh, Fort Hamilton Parkway. That's been there for 20 plus years, also. Uh, yeah. 45th Street, uh, Fort Hamilton Parkway.